hi everyone welcome to my channel okay our channel <laughs> but how is it our channel when i have to bribe him to come here anyway so today i am featuring my organ at the top because he has just been so amazing on this journey of homemaking and i don't know I don't know if I would have been able to do it or come this far if it was not for his help and just him supporting me. So, happy Father's Day to you, honey. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> I have a couple of questions for you just for you to share about your experience on this journey. So, first of all, how did this thing come to you? How, uh, whose idea was it? How, how how did it start? Yeah, it started like back in our school days in the university. Uh, yeah, it was um, it was we were we were in school and we normally talk about things like this, like uh, how do we want the future to be and um, things like um, how do you want uh, what we like to do for the family and all that. So. Deep down in my heart, when I was growing up, I've always wanted to have marry like a teacher, somebody who have time uh, for the kids in the house, like you know, somebody that will work from, uh, like you know, somebody chasing a very big career. I'm not saying it's wrong, but I'm just saying that for me personally, I just like somebody who likes, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> who likes to be at home and uh, likes to. You know, spend time with the family. You know, that put the family first. So I've always wanted that, and uh, thank God, like she, she actually enjoys it, and she, she's passionate about it. And I've met a lot of uh, like married women. A lot of them wish they had that same passion, but they don't. So I'm very grateful to God. All right, so. What made you, because at a point in our, in our marriage, especially when we moved here, you wanted me to, you know, follow my other major, like become a CPA. Was there something that was making you say, I should go back to school and become a CPA? What, why did you want me to go back to that route? No, I just, I thought you wanted to do something like that. Like, uh, I want you to do what you wanted to do. Like, even if you're chasing careers and all that, I'm still fine with it. I don't think I would have a problem with it anyway. But to me, it doesn't change anything. As long as that would make you happy, you chase it. And so I was thinking, okay, that was what you wanted to do. Register for your CPA, write your CPA exam, get a license. Which, for me, I won't have a problem. I think God will always create a way in every situation. So I was... Really? I was, I was, I was of still be okay with it, but it. <laughs> even though I, there is one thing I wanted, but at the same time, being the one person that marries you happy, that is even better. So, as long as you're happy, I want you to, I'm, I'm okay with it. Yeah, I think what most of the things he says is right. This thing started, it was something that, I don't really know what planted that seed or who planted that seed in me but i remember it was not just me but i had a friend called seho and we shared a birthday even we share a birthday so we would be like we have to, we, we we all enjoy this um family thing home making thing we had dreams of staying home with our families we wanted to work make money so that we'll be able to stay home with our families and i actually asked her a few um months back how this thing started like why do we fall so much love then I didn't know it was homemaking or whatever you know we just wanted to be home raising our kids teaching them and all that so I asked her how did this start in our hearts and she said she believes it's um, these missionary couple that we had maybe they planted that seed I don't remember them really talking about homemaking or teaching us but in a way maybe we saw that in the wife and we got attracted to it or it is just something that God put in our heart but yeah so when Chris and I were friends and we would talk about this he would always say like I think teaching will give you more time 
<laughs> yeah so in case my dad comes back and asks me why i didn't go to do big i didn't become a cpa he's the one he told me not to i'm kidding but yeah i wanted to do a job that would give me time to have to do other things like you know have time to fellowship with people even at the time that i didn't have a child this thing was so big in me i wanted to have time to fellowship with people i i don't know if it was a right thought or whatever but that's where all these came from so fast forward we moved here and <laughs> the american dream and everything was just calling me drawing me and it, it looked like i wanted to work and chris i believe he says he wanted me to be happy and do what i want but i also believe society played a part of why he said he was pushing me to go to work because he didn't want to be that man that people say oh you made your wife a housewife you didn't let her achieve her dreams and he knew also that my my dad was really crazy about you know going to school and having that status to your name and all that the titles and all that so i think that also influenced him to a certain extent but thank god isabel came unplanned and man that desire just became something else. We could not look back anymore. I wanted to stay home. He wanted it to, but we couldn't tell each other. So at a point, I came out to tell him because he hired a nanny for me. And even with the nanny, he will come home super early to take care of the child. And I will also not be able to, like, you know, do whatever work that I said I was supposed to do because I wanted to be so involved with my daughter. So in the end, I told him, honey, even if my mom should come or we should receive help, I still want to be to be the one to raise Isabel, teach her, take her to school if she has to go to school. And he was like, wow, I also want you to do this. So then the main, so we started actually researching about it and thank God, uh, you know, our foundation is Christ. Like everything, we go back to the word of God. And that is when we started realizing that this is something that God actually calls us to do. And we also ask people, of course, you have to ask real people to know how they are doing to receive tips from them. Initially, I was asking um, people who cannot relate to what I'm talking about. So everything was just negative. It was hard. The stigma was just so big. People were looking at us like we are crazy, like you just moved here and you want your wife to stay home. How much money do you have? And we are talking about people who've been in America for long. They have money. They build their houses. We were renting at that time. Um, we had one car. So they're looking at us like, are you crazy? You should be chasing money and all that. What are you talking about? But we thank God that he is our final, um, you know, we, we get our final call from him. So when he says something, um, we just, you know, no matter what the world says, we just go back to say, you know, this is the feedback we got from real people. So how are we going to navigate through this? And thank God he has helped us so much. He has connected us to people who are also on this journey. And I was like, okay, the issue was that you were looking in the wrong places now you find the right people who support this and they know what this is about okay enough of the talking so honey how has it been for you like your expectations well, how has it been for you did yeah. you have expectation for me like okay now you are a homemaker you don't work this is what i expect you to do uh, i didn't I, I didn't really have an expectation like for me it's about as long as there's joy peace and happiness in your home I'm fine if you because if you don't want to do it, then you your situation doesn't mean anything anyway. So my thing is that as long as you're passionate about it, everything work work out together at the end of the day. So uh, I didn't really have an expectation, and for me, as long as we are happy as a home and it's always been fine, we're fine. Yeah, so yeah, I'm okay with that. So it's that is the way. I don't think. I feel an expectation about how things should be because if you leave room for people to to learn to do their research and to go in what they're doing, they even surprise you like, oh, so I didn't even know that is the case. So you learn more and that's 
because your own expectation might be actually be the lowest of oh, thinking oh I had this expectation but that expectation is not even near the standard of what you should be looking at so it's about giving room for improvement and all that so well I think that is one thing that Chris has done that really helps me I feel like he has an expectation even though he doesn't agree like that he has but he really has a big room for failure like he she will fail like you know like you know she fails or she might not be able to do this today or she, you know he has that big room and because of that room that he has given me it makes me want to even try things that i'm afraid of things that i've been told i can never do places that i've been told i can't go or um where i cannot walk in terms of just being um, that godly homemaking woman and that is the thing that i I'm so grateful for him and I believe it's because of his relationship with God and so yeah so honey thank you for coming you deserve this feature you have helped me so so much sometimes I'm afraid that maybe I'm comparing your love to the love of God or something like that because I know that we just we we, we are we are full of flaws but in a way Chris always lets me know how Christ loves us and he has even made me to also be gentle with people and love people more he is such a gentleman if you do not know him those who know him know but he's such a gentleman and he's just so gentle with me Isabel is calling us so we have to go <laughs> all right thank all you right. for coming honey and we hope to see you more <clears throat> on this channel okay no problem so we next next one we he's going to talk about the proverbs 31 man you know they're always talking about the proverbs 31 woman he's going to share with you guys about the proverbs 31 31 man so see you take care <laughs> bye bye i'm committing for him <laughs>